a master class in painting landscape with reflections and our Tom's cameraman so he's grandson blue sky on the canvas board this Plenty of colour on. It's just a blue sky with a touch of moving distance here. This is a distance here. And add white and blue. And fuse this in. This is your this is your distance, middle distance. So I'll put that in. Blend it in, just blush it in like you do when you put in powder in your face, let them. Yep. And this, uh, this is water here. We've only half an hour to paint this. So we've got to make it quick. Yep. A few clouds here. We'll just let it dry and then uh, we'll put, put a few clouds on. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so that's sky done. I'm going to put this is base, this is base, this is undercoat painting. Right. This should be painted up top of. I'm not be too worried about in this this stage. It's about filling the canvas up as quickly as possible, blocking it in. Fill <coughs> that as quickly as possible. Only if you like really in a rush or something, I like to put it on neutral like we're gonna do. Yeah. So we've got a sky and, and a spawn in. We'll just put and you can see how it's coming yeah. together now. Some blue and mauve and a touch of green. Yep. A bit more mauve. And you can already see it. And get these this middle distance here, this blue and mauve. Just mm. paint this somewhere. Gently. <coughs> Want to get that distance. Feel. You'll not see a lot of this because there'll be trees <coughs> in its uh, distance. In distance. Yeah. Let me get another brush. And while we while we will divide this. And my granddad has got a couple of bru quite a few brushes there, like you can see. And divide these into fields. And that gives you perspective. <coughs> <coughs> now we'll put this. This is practically dry, it's very fast drying. Yeah. This. Well, it depends on what type of paints you get. And then put this on heavy, quite heavy, this grass, reeds. Yeah. Always. Like a kind of like a bit of a yeah. dabby kind of thing. Press it down in this manner. Forget about reeds here. We'll put some reeds here, across here. Mm, you can see it. There'll be a tree here. So we put, we'll, we'll just put reflection in here. Or, or you more. can see down there it's coming mm. together. We'll just put reflection in here. Because we're going to put a tree there while it's wet. It takes, <laughs> it, takes it down better. Put a bit more water yeah. here. Put here. And then press, get your green. 
this dark green a bit of yellow. Yeah. And get this. Just half an hour to paint this. So yeah. only a quick quick painting. Quick rough sketch. Yeah. But if he if he had if he had more time I can assure you he would be better. Ah but these yeah, rough sketches these rough sketches as uh the better than polished paintings. Yeah. I like these put it on. Yeah. Even at that stage, it's still, it's still to be painted. Can you zoom in, Tom, and just show yeah. Mark this this side? It's yeah, how it's going taking shape. Right. When you put highlights on, we put no. It's mainly taking shape yeah. there and there in the reservoir, and it'll be coming onto that part in a while, yeah. in a bit. So we'll put a bit more water on here. Yeah. There. And, and here. Just on the other here. Yeah. Like so it's, it's marshy. Mm. It's a bit, a bit of marsh on it. And there's some lines there. Yeah. The paths and, and in the middle and in the middle there there's yeah, just, just a field. There's a field there. And you can already see it's coming together very nicely. Mm. So we'll get some yellowy blue now with, with mauve and put these distant edges in and feels in. Mm, just a dab more yellow than it is blue. Here, above the skyline, you not see much of these. Yeah, and you can how close up to the trees there. I can see, because these will be darker, a bit over. There's all the trees just there. Just dark underneath. And then a bit I'll zoom into the trees again if and you here. didn't get to see them right. <coughs> Don't be frightened. Mm -hmm. tree in here. And if you don't know what it's going to end up like, just try it anyway. You never know, you won't be good at it. Because my granddad found it. My granddad uh, oh, got pretty got pretty good at it when he was in Kirk Park. But he told me. I did. Mm -hmm. See? Oh, yeah. He's been working and he's been painting ever since. Mm. And that's what happens if you stick to it. If you stick to it and bigger and, and get better. It's like playing piano. If you play along long and hard enough you'll get better, won't you Tom? Yeah. So with this reflection here, we'll do a large tree here. Quite heavy, hit bottom. Yeah, right. sorry about that. And here. See it after he's moved his arm. See, right. see that? I'll zoom in in a minute. Just gonna zoom in a bit. Much shape of a tree anyhow. Yeah. And this will reflect in here. I'll see it in a minute. Want that to reflect this tree? Yeah, so it'll reflect and, and that's and the reflection wet, in the middle, I guess. While this is and wet, see, we, like put, that. we put this way up, like that. Up there, like, like that. that. You'll see it. Just give it a few minutes. No, no, no. Yeah, feel, feel it, it, See, yeah, like there's some light bits and darker bits that's come here. Just down makes a this bit good mid range. Oh. Yeah. I'm not putting over on this and they'll all laugh when they see it at class. If it's that great thing I do, they'll say, oh, it's put over on this. But I ain't putting it on this time. So we foxed them down. Yeah. <laughs> and we say, oh, it's not. We can always tell with Dennis's paintings, because she's put all the stand on. <laughs> oh, you could just say, buy Dennis Aykroyd, which it is Dennis Aykroyd. Oh, yeah. Look, oh, <coughs> in 20 minutes, 10 minutes, nearly painting done. Mm. And then, 
So far it's been 10 minutes, yep. 6 seconds, and now it's gone. 10 minute painting. And then when this is dry, not particularly in a, it, it, it's tacky. Sorry, just I'll, I'll, just give it, track, I'll just give it a few, uh, a bit longer. Yeah, and then put as darts on. It can come better if you dab around. It, if as darts on here, like that. Sure it's going to it's just this camera, it's a bit weird. This green, this dark green, and put this on here, like that. There's a shadow. <laughs> this will make it your painting scene. Yeah, and just down there, where until the moves and then you can have yeah. a good look at it. And do it there, like that. I'm putting it dark here because, at bottom, because I want to put a couple of sheep there. Mm. So it's darker at bottom, lighter at top, um. spread your branch out, make your tufts of grass, Look real. You yeah, buy a little oh, like dabbing, like dabbing them, patting them down yeah. with your finger, and then it's better. You've got 19 minutes left. Oh, that long. That long, done. Yep, it says. It says remaining 19 minutes. 18 actually, because it just yeah. went down. <laughs> I'm going to capture this, Tom. Yep, I'm get it. I'll get a quick good look. And Any, around, anybody's and around the view, it's kind of like the yeah. sun setting, kind, kind of like that. Isn't it, Brenda? Yep. Oh. Ducks. Sun, sun's coming inside the house here. Oh, don't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least we can get a painting done. Yep. And then here. There's dark shadows. And he will be doing more of the seasons. No, no blades of grass. We don't want them, do we? He'll be doing paintings of the seasons. So, so next time, a master class will be... It'll be uh, autumn next time. Yeah. We'll do a snow scene, don't we? Mm-hmm. And this, we'll just put a little... A little bit of green in there, just just a smart sweeten it up. And yep. there. Yeah, put the pro last here because it's blossomed. Put a bit of then highlights. <coughs> if you want to put uh, yes, yeah, each tree is just there in the middle ish. Just here, if you want to put a few a few uh, reeds, it's just a matter of, matter of uh, like yeah, uh, whether it. you want to do it or not. Yeah, but a few reeds inside, it, it helps. A few them. reeds were not it? No, and, and this, this here, this here. I guess we're here. from Yorkshire. <laughs> Only if they'll be able to understand us in America, Dumb. Mm. Huh? Eh, no idea.